Okay, lesson six, guys, z-score and normal distribution just builds on what we did last time. We're still looking at normal distribution. So let's just do an example. Um, bowling league. Kind of obsessed with bowling, I think. I think all my examples are bowling. Um, has scores with a normal distribution. Okay, that means they make a bell-shaped curve, like like we did uh, the other day on the other lesson. They're gonna go out, you know, make this nice bell-shaped curve if we graphed out everybody's bowling scores on like a bar graph. Normal distribution, uh, the mean is 150 pins, and uh, the standard deviation is eight pins okay so it's, it's going to be similar to what we done but make sure you watch this video because there's some new things here as far as z-score let's draw out a normal curve just so you can see how it all fits together here so remember we drew the curve up like this and we divided it and we put one two three one two three thirty four percent 13 and a half percent uh what is the other ones i gotta look here 2.35 percent and 0.15 percent you squish out here at the end okay in this last section i mean basically out to infinity it's 0.15 percent because it actually never uh, really quite gets down to zero, honestly, because there could be bowling. I mean, in this case, you get up to a 300 game. That's the highest you can get, I guess. Um, so let's fill in the mean. Remember, that goes right in the middle. And then going up like this, do, 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 do. Uh, we're talking eight pins is a standard deviation, so we're going up by eights, basically. 158, 166. Uh, 174, go down by 8 here, minusing 8, I got 142, 136, and 128, if I did my math right. Okay, 8, where'd I get 8? Well, standard deviation 8, that's why I'm going up by 8. Okay, that's the actual scores. Under that, what I'm going to do is a new thing, I'm going to say, what's the z-score? Z-score at the mean is, oh, is 0. Okay, it's how far you are from the mean, okay? I'm, I'm at the mean. If I go z-score 1, that means I'm one standard deviation up from the mean, or I'm one space up here. z-score 2, two standard deviations up, z-score 3. So each of these spaces always just goes 1, 2, 3 with z-score. And if you go down, negative 1 means you're one standard deviation below the mean. Two standard deviations below the mean, three standard deviations below the mean. It's telling you how many standard deviations you are from the mean. I'm one standard deviation from the mean. means I'm eight away from the mean. I'm two standard deviations from the mean. means I'm eight, eight, 16 above the mean. I'm one standard deviation below the mean. Okay, that's all that really says, z-score. So z-score, if you want definition, equals how many standard, it's kind of weird definition, but deviations from the mean a data point is okay how many standard deviations are you from the mean if you're positive z-score you're above the mean negative z-score you're below okay here's some questions based on that uh, problem there uh, so we'll say something like this uh, what is the bowling score If uh, the z-score is 3. Okay, if you got this drawn out, it's easy. The z-score is 3. Okay, 174 pins. Uh, what is the bowling score? Let's make it do a tougher one. If the z-score... is negative two and a half. 
Okay, what's that mean? Well, two and a half. I got with two and a half steps down. One, here's negative two, here's negative three. Well, what's halfway between those two? Between 136 and 128. Halfway between. Halfway between those two, well, basically I'm going to be at, um, it's a difference of eight, so I got to go four, four up from this, or four down from this, so 132, I'm thinking. Okay, so that's a little tougher, right? It's two and a half steps down, so one, two, and then I got to go between these two here, to go two and a half, and then last question, uh, if the z-score Uh, for a game is negative three. Uh, what is the is the number of pins? Or what's the score that that person got if their z score is negative three? Again, just look up here. Uh, one, two, three. Negative. I mean, it's right here. Negative three. It's a score of one twenty-eight pins. All right. So it's just asking how, just relating, you know, this z-score. So when you draw it from now on, put the z-score on there, and then these problems should be uh, pretty simple from there.